Well, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Mrs. Brock. It's lovely to have you here today. We're going to do a spelling lesson today. This is spelling lesson 40. And we're going to start with the sentence. I don't want you to write anything yet. If I were to give you the sentence, Washington was the first president, can we do the questions answered for that together? Yes. yes. Let's do it. Who Washington equals was who the first president? Who Washington equals was who the, the first, first president. president? Key word. The first, the first, the first president. president. Title? The number. Who? That didn't work. When the you title the president? Pardon me, Sonia? What did you? So let's do the sentence again. Washington who Washington, Washington equals was who the, the first, first president. president? Keyword? What do you see in your mind when you say that sentence? First president. You see a first? Washington. What does the first look like? Washington what do you see? Washington. Washington. So the key word is Washington, and the title is the, the, name, the, name of the first, first president of the United States. States. Let's try one more together. He was a great man. He, he was, was a great, great man. man. Who, who he equals was who a great, great man. man. Mm -hmm. What do you think the key word would be? A great, a, great man. Man. a great man. If you chose a great man, what would the title be? The, the, the kind of man he was. The his kind of man he was. Character? <gasps> oh, his character. character. So the key word would be great, mm -hmm. and that tells you his character. 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 All right, so we're going to try today's lesson. You can. We're going to write on our paper. We're going to write very quickly because we're just learning how to take notes. Here's your first sentence. Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president of the United States. Abraham, Abraham Lincoln was the 16th president, president of, of the United, United States. States. Before you write, you need to see it in your mental image. Let's ask our comprehension questions. Ready? Begin. Who Abraham Lincoln equals was who the 16th president of the United States? Of the United States. Now you may abbreviate United States on your paper. How could you abbreviate it? U.S. U.S. If we put U.S.A., that would be an abbreviation for United, United, States, United States of America, America, but the sentence was United, United States. States. So on our paper, what will we write first? Who? Who? Abraham Lincoln. How do you spell Abraham? Do the best you can. E next, sen next question. E equals was. And the next question? Who, who the 16th president of the United States? Now you may use the numeral 16 and the TH for 16th. When we're looking for the key word, we're looking for the most important word in that sentence. We're looking for the picture that we see in our mind. And when we read this sentence, what do we see? Abraham Lincoln. So the key word is? Abraham Lincoln. You may underline it. And then we'll go back to the margin. We'll write the word title. And we want to create a title for this sentence. So what does this sentence tell? The, 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 the name, name of, of the 16th president of the United States. States. Very well done. Let's write that on our paper. Oh, 
abbreviate the United States? I said you may abbreviate United States. Now it's a title, so we want to make sure that most of our words are capitalized. In fact, we'll capitalize all of the words except the little words like the, the, the and, and of. of. And all the other words are capitalized. Well done. But the only that we capitalize is the first one? Yes, you always capitalize the first one. Very good. Okay. All right, we're going to go to the margin and we're going to do sentence two. When, when you're ready, put your pencil down because we want to see it in our mental image first. He was one of the greatest presidents of our country. He was one of the greatest presidents of our country. Who he equals equals. Oh, let's stop. Is it a doing, is was a doing word or an equals word? Equals. Okay, so let's start again. Who he equals was a great man. Oh, it was one of the greatest presidents of the country. Let's try it again. Who he equals was who one of the greatest presidents of the country. All right, so now we can write it on our paper. Pick up your pencil. First question. Who he Next question. Equals was who, who the greatest one, one, of, the one greatest of the greatest presidents? One of the greatest presidents of our country. One of the greatest presidents of our country. Can we read that last phrase together? Ready? Begin. One, One of the greatest, greatest presidents, presidents of our, our country. country. Hmm. What do you think the key word in this sentence might be? One of the greatest presidents of our country. That's an awful lot to put in there. The greatest. One of the greatest. One of greatest. the greatest. President. One of the greatest presidents. All right, so if you, let's, let's go back to what Ben was saying. Ben was saying one of the greatest presidents. If, can we turn that into a title? No. 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 Hmm. The greatest presidents of our country. You have a special word in there. Our greatest. Yes. Let's read the sentence. Look at your paper. He was one of the greatest presidents of our country. Was he the greatest? No. No, but he was one, one of the greatest. So if we chose one of the greatest as our keyword, what would the title be? His position. His position? In what way? Oh, it wasn't just in society. Look at your sentence. That she's on the right track. Shran. I am. So, sorry, I am. And you um, called me the, His position of one of... His um, position of our presidents of our country. You're on the right track. Is he great? His, his, his or great er or great est. His position of one of the greatest. Is he great, greater, or great est? He's great. One of the greatest. One of the greatest. So we're kind of having them stand in certain order. So we have we have a, a great man and a greater man and the great est man. Are they listed? Is this a listing of the presidents, or uh, if he were first, second, or third, that would be his rank? His rank. Thank you, Leela. So he is one of the greatest presidents of our country. So this is his rank. 
use the other words in the sentence. The reign of one of the greatest presidents of our country. The rank Try it for me, of Abraham. Hold on. The rank he he had among the presidents of our country. Oh, how do you like that? The rank he had. Can we the maybe fix Abraham it a little bit, Lincoln. Leela? What did you? I'm oh, sorry, Sonia. What did you want to add to the that? Rank the rank he possessed. I was thinking the rank oh, yeah. Abraham. The rank he was among the presidents of our country. So it's something that belongs to him. What's the possessive form oh. of he? Oh, his. 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 Could, so could we say his rank? Yes. His rank among. The among greatest the his rank among the presidents, presidents of, of the United look at your sentence of our country. Country. his rank among the presidents of our country and what is his rank among the presidents of our country one of the greatest so what did we say our title was going to be his, his rank, rank among the presidents, presidents of, of our, our country. country. Because we want to use the rest of the words in our sentence. So let's see if we can write that. Reese, what did you say it was? His, what was that word we used? Rank. His rank. And then what was the next word I used? Among. Among. Why didn't I use the word between? Because among means among all the presidents. That's right. Between only means? Between two people. Two people. His rank among the, the presidents, presidents of, of our, our country. country. His rank among the presidents of our country. Yes. His rank among the presidents of our country. And what was his rank? One of the One greatest. One of the greatest. One of the greatest. All right, we're going to move on to sentence three. Lincoln was born on February 12th, 1809 in Kentucky. Lincoln, Lincoln was, was born, born on February, February 12th, 1809, 1809 in, Kentucky. in Kentucky. Find your verb. Done to? What's your verb? Was born. Was born. It's a done to It's a done to verb. verb. So let's ask our questions. Who? Who? Lincoln, Lincoln done to, was, was born, born when, when? On February 12th, 1809, when? where? In Kentucky. In Kentucky. All right, now we can write it on paper. What was our first question? Who? Who? Lincoln. Lincoln. And the next question? Done, done to, was born. When? 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 On, on February 12, 1809. Can we abbreviate that? You may. You may. We're taking notes. Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809. Where? Where? In Kentucky. Kentucky. In Kentucky. Kentucky. Period. Hmm. Picture this sentence in your mind. Say it in your mind. What does this sentence tell? Um, when he was born? When and, and where he was, was born. born. When and where he was born. So what is our key word in this sentence? Um, um, on February 12, 1809, 1809 in, in Kentucky. Kentucky. Yes, yeah, so we have two that we have to underline. February 12, 1809 and Kentucky that we need to underline. And Ben, you told me what the title was. Would you say it for me again, please? Um, uh, when and where... Um, 
Lincoln was born. All right, so we're going to work on that. We want to take when and where. Those, those are the question date words. Of his of and can we turn these into nouns? The date and place. The date and, and place. 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 It's not really the time. The date and, and place, place of, of, his, of, of Lincoln's, Lincoln's birth. birth. Very nice. The date and place of Lincoln's birth. Place. Now, whose birth were we discussing? Lincoln. Lincoln's. So it belongs to Lincoln. So what do we have to do? Apostrophe S. Apostrophe S. The date and place of Lincoln's birth. Sentence four. His first home was a log cabin. His first home was a log cabin. What are your questions? Who? His first home. Pardon me, Sonia? Who not alive? His first home equals was who not alive a log cabin. Yes, when the words that answer when the words that answer who do not have the power of speech, we use who not alive. So we have who not alive, his first home, equals was, and a who not alive equals a who not, who not alive. alive. We can write it on our paper. What was our first question? Who not alive, his first home. Who not alive, his first, his first home. home. And what was our second question? Equals was. And the last question? Not alive, not alive, not alive. His first home was a log cabin. A log cabin was his first home. They're the same. In your mind's eye, what do you see? A log cabin. A log cabin. And what would our title be? The place where... Pla Look at your sentence. His first home. His first home. Thank you. The material Lincoln's home was made of? A log cabin. If you look at your sentence, a log cabin is his first home. This is a who not alive equals who not alive. So the title, so the title is his first his home. home. And we're on to sentence five. five. Lincoln was kind and just. Lincoln was kind and just. Let's ask our questions. Who, Lincoln, equals, was, adjective, kind, and, joining word, and, adjective, just. So we'll write that on our paper and then we're going to talk about it. What was our first question? Who, Lincoln. Doing a great job, Sam. Lincoln equals was. equals was who Lincoln equals was who adjective kind, kind. joining word joining word and adjective just, just. Do you think you could find the key words here? Kind and just. Kind and just. Kind and just. just. What 
do those words tell us about Lincoln? The His character. His character. Wristic. Are they characteristics or are they part of his character? Um, his character. Yes, they're character traits. So someone who is kind yeah. is? Um, gentle. Mm-hmm. Nice. What about just? Um, fair. Fair. You want someone who's going to be fair, fair. when they judge you. So he's just. That's where we get our word justice. Oh, from. that or that right, it's fair. Of mm -hmm. So he was fair-minded. He was fair. You've underlined kind and just. And what did we say the title was for this? Lincoln's. Character. How many character traits do we have? Two. 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 One can be two character traits. Or you can say two character traits of Lincoln. Do you think he may have had more character traits than that? Yes. yes. Should we put the numeral to? You may. I know it's a lot to write. We're almost finished. One last sentence. May I write it on the back? You may. I already went on to the back. How many lines do we need? He did a great deal for his country. He did, he did a, a great, great deal, deal for, for his, his country. country. Questions? Who, Who he doing did what a great deal for for his country? For what? Why? For this country. Why? Do you think it's a why? How? He did How? a great deal for his country. Yeah. For what? Doing. For his country. Let's put it on our paper. You ready? What was our first question? Who, Who he, he doing? doing did. Did. What a great deal. What a great deal. For what? For his country. For what? For his country. For his country. He did a great deal for his country. What do you think the key word might be? Look at it in your head, see it in your mind's eye. He did a great deal for his country. Um, a great key word? Deal. A, a great, great deal. deal. We found that. So what does this sentence tell then? Um, what, he did for his what he did for his country. So when you do something for your country or for your classroom or for your teacher, then this is your con contradict. I don't want you to contradict me. <laughs> but you're close. Contra contribution. Contribute. Contribute. When you contribute, yes, then that makes your this your contra you should. Yes, turning contribute into a noun, you have contribution. contribution. So this is his contribution, contribution for his country. country. <coughs> Excuse me. His contribution for his country. His con. How do you spell contribution? Well, we want his contribution. Con. Tri. You shut. Okay. Thank you. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> and for this is not capitalized. His contribution four or two? Two. Four. His contribution. 
to his country. So if you have four, cross off the word for and change it to to. His contribution to his country. So I have a book up there on Abraham Lincoln, and I have a picture here of Abraham Lincoln. Besides being the 16th president of the United States, why is he considered one of the greatest presidents of the United States? Seth? He, he, he led the Civil War. He led the country through the Civil War, yes. Loyal in what way? He did something else that was really important. What was the Civil War all about? He made a speech. What was the speech called? Mm. Leela, do you know? He stopped slavery. <gasps> yes, he put an end to slavery in the United States, so he gave a speech. And that speech was called the? Declaration of Independence. Do you know it, Ian? I read it in a book. Eman, the Emancipation mm -hmm. Proclamation. Oh. Now, as you um, move on in your studies, you'll eventually get to memorize the Emancipation Proclamation. I'm reading a book about him. Are you? There's a book. There's a book here on him. What are you reading about Mr. Lincoln right now? I'm reading his childhood. His childhood. I am. I read that same book. Oh, did you? Did you enjoy your spelling lesson? Yes. yes. Thank you for the Thank spelling you. Thank you for the lesson. Before you go, I want you to read what you've written. I want you to read your story. And you're going to focus on the key words of the reading. Ready? Again. Abraham Lincoln. He was the 16th president of the United States. Title. He was. He was, he was one, one of the greatest the presidents of our country. Lincoln was born on February 12, 1809 in Kentucky. His first home was a log cabin. Lincoln was kind and just. He did a great deal for his country. Very good. Thank you very much. Those of you that are at the table, you may stand.